Well, hi guys. It is Monday the 9th of uh, May. And Marty's out of the barn. He's been doing a little bit of work today. And guess what's hooked to her? Hey! A sex bottom. Uh, yep. A6 bottom. I don't know if this is a Minneapolis Moline or a white plow. Uh, supposed to be a Moline, but I see white right there. So it's a white. But it is six fourteens. Could be four fourteens, five fourteens, or six fourteens. It's got two add on bottoms. But they bought it. I bought this from the original owners of it that bought it new. Uh, and I guarantee you, if, if it's got two extra bottoms on it, this is the way it came new. They didn't add anything. Not them guys. Uh, I briefly touched on this plow one time a few years ago when I was moving it with my 1550 utility. But I bought this uh, about three miles from my house or six, seven miles from here. And as plows go, it's actually in pretty decent shape. Mold boards aren't thin. They're still good and thick. Uh, one cover board is trash board or cover board or whatever you want to call it. it. broke off. We'll see if I can get another one of those. Or if... Uh, this yetter in here will fit it. I might just stick it on there. Uh, doesn't matter to me. But like I say, it's six fourteens, and actually, looking at the ply now, it needs to go this way about eight inches. Which is understandable since the hitch is all the way that way, or this way. So, I'm going to move it. Which is going to get fun. Uh, got to use this, actually for the first time. And man, did that ever make this easy to hook up. Uh, I'm in love with that speed hitch. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh... But we have a few issues to deal with. One, a 14 inch tubeless tire does not pick this plow up very high. I'm sorry, it just, that ain't gonna get it. And the gauge wheel here is flat. It's hard as a rock, but <laughs> can you see the bow stem? And can you see how much lug nut is sticking out? This is going to be a fun one, I think, to get off. But, I bought this plow, went to the sale these guys had. No intentions of buying this plow. None. None whatsoever. But, I'm always on a look out for a good deal on something. And this being the plow that it is, four, five, or six bottom, well, it piqued my interest pretty quick. And I think I give $200 for it, 250 something like that. And I'm, you, you just can't find a plow like that for that kind of money. It's in good shape. 
it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination and it's going to need a set of shears on it uh, a year or two but what's on it are worn the same and they'll last another couple of years with me because it is getting very fuzzy out there <laughs> yes it is April the night and quite literally this keeps going uh, you could bail it uh, well, I'm not kidding you there's places it's getting rather thick and it's that short season grass and I don't know what this other fuzzy stuff down here is but uh, like I said I don't have to have cover crops this is what I get every year okay <laughs> it's just a matter of fact for this area uh, now if you spray every fall or late and every spring real early then you get perfectly clean fields but 99 times out of 100 you don't do either this is what you get come springtime <laughs> but that tractor and that plow well that'll kind of make short work of that um, if I remember right, the guys that had this plow had it on a G950 molding, and it was set in tight and narrow. So, probably why that hitch is like it is. But like I say, that's not a problem. We can move it. Um, what, two, four, six bolts? We can bring it over. Uh, yeah. Just have to do some measuring. Measure from the center draw bar to here. And then measure from the center of this draw bar out to the edge of the shear and you got it so I'm finally going to get to use this thing I hope I am anyway uh, the this has the same spring trip bottoms uh, that plow goes over there so it puts these in that same kind of time frame plow wise So I'm happy. Uh, it's just going to look funny. <laughs> you just don't see an 1850 narrow front with a cab and a six bottom behind it very often. But we're going to. So guys, I'm going to get busy on this thing. Uh, first thing will be these wheels. Uh, that one's just going to have to get chucked and thrown away. Rim's shot. And I got to get a grease cap for it too, it appears. And find a suitable replacement to go on there. And who knows, I may put that over here. It might work. I just can't understand why people stick. Take 14 inch implement rims, put a car tire on it and mount it tubeless and hope it stays. Because they never do. It never ever works. <laughs> uh, oh well. Well guys, I'm going to get busy. Get some air tools out. And see what I can get done. So we'll be back after a bit. Well, after about 25 minutes with the impact wrench, 
I finally got the lugs out. I just hope the hip wheel comes off. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's only about a three inch hole there. for the back one here. So, well, let me do some investigation and see what I come up with. We'll be back here in a minute, guys. Well, I guess it's time to take the back tire off. I found a suitable replacement. While I'm here,
Go up. And of course that means it's going to be more fun. Yes, these are the old tires I took off of the 1550 utility when I bought it. No. These are off the 1850. And they're an 8-ply rated. So they'll handle this plow with no problem. better gooder.
what you call not exactly the greatest lug nuts in the world or lug bolts but it's what I got and it's what I got to work with so let's try this again Should have had originally probably a 700, 707.5, 14 implement tire on it, and well, nobody wants to buy them new, so they just do chuck them off and put a car tire on it, which will work. Don't get me wrong, but. Not exactly the best thing.
So, I'll be back here in a bit, guys. Hang on. Well, believe it or not, I believe that getter cover board is going to fit. And as Daddy used to say, boy, work smarter, not harder. Well, guys, I'm very happy so far. Uh, not exactly original looking, but <laughs> I found a use for a genuine, genuine Yetter part that I've had forever that bolted right up. And other than a well, the first one's different than the second and the third. So, it ain't going to make any difference. It'll still work. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, we got the tire issues figured out and fixed. Uh, got a cover board on. So, that's fixed. Now it's down to, uh, it needs a grease job and the hitch moot, which I think I'll work on tomorrow. Yep, that's going to be a tomorrow job. And I'm not, I may have to adjust that tail wheel, to be honest. It looks like it's like this, towed in. And it needs to come be towed out some, so uh, that may change that distance up there. Because the plow is sitting like this to the tractor. And you honestly won't know exactly what needs to be done to get in the field, but I got to get that, you know, first bottom's got to come way over, and that's all on that hitch. So, I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, this morning, I worked a bunch on this door. And have it now to where I'm very happy with this and this. Feels good. I got to get rid of some mud right there, but that's minor. Uh, yeah. So, 
as I say, I've been been a lot of things done today you haven't seen. Uh, I did a little bit of an equipment shuffle back here. Oh yeah, I gotta get the skid steer back in. Had to. <coughs> I brought half the woods with me when I came. Uh, you know how multiplore rose bushes can grow up super sized in a couple of years. Well, they have. Uh, Move the drill. Move the field, Ford field elevator back there. Uh, put the 20 inch tires away. Uh, been back to the woods and it got my 645 Viber chisel moved. It was sitting next to the plow. And it had to come out of the way first in order to get the plow out. So I've got those two moved. Now where they were at I can clean up with skid steer. Uh, got this moved, got that moved. Uh, I got the quick hitch put back on the 1850 which I'm glad I got the skid steer to do that. Uh, got dad mowing grass and got him all squared away with what he needed got him back home and I got the plow up and so far we've solved the pro tire problems greased the back hub lubed the lug nuts added a new cover board and it's basically down now to the hitch so I feel like I've got a good bit done today. And it looks so funny looking at all this extra sitting behind this tractor. But I think I've got some adjusting to do, like I say, on that tail wheel. I don't think that's right. Um, I mean, even to the plow frame, it's pushing out like this and shouldn't do that and as they say always keep your old tires around because they come in handy might come in handy for something else that's literally one of the tires that was on the front of the 1850 when I bought it so they're still getting use <laughs> uh, and a plow I bought two or three years ago is going to get some use and a part I've had in there for 20 years is being put to good use now <laughs> I thought about hanging that thing on the wall and I thought no you know what let's just use it that's what I'm going to do I don't see any difference between this and that other than that rounded rounded uh top edge here it'll work so tomorrow will be get the jack stand down I'll put the skid steer under it uh, and hijack just to be safe to where I can unhook the plow from the tractor and start measuring to move this hitch and I'm really surprised both these arms are the same. There's a top hole and a bottom hole. I would have thought this would have been in the bottom hole to cock it this way. I may have to look into this. Because uh, this was used on a moline, so there may be something different there. But guys, I'm going to call it. Uh, we will see you next time, and as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Like I say, all I'm going to do is grease it, 
oil the coolers up, move the hitch over, and theoretically it should be ready to plow. So we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I pulled 516s with ease. I do mean ease with our old 1850. So I'm figuring 614s, she ought to move right along with you slick as a whistle. We're going to find out. We'll see you next time, guys.